Hi guys, uh, just looking at page 230 here, Fundamental Applied Maths, uh, chapter 13D. I think I called it C in the last video, sorry about that. Um, we're just looking at question 10, which asks a particle P um, of mass 5 kg is connected by a light elastic string of natural length 2 and elastic constant 140 to a fixed point Q on a rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction one. Uh, P is released from rest at a point A, where the distance between Q and A is three meters. And now the first thing they ask is show that it has simple harmonic motion, but I'm actually gonna start off by showing where the equilibrium point is. So uh, forces to the left have to equal forces to the right, okay? So forces to the left are obviously from the, uh, the stretched string, which has length three meters. So we're saying it's 140, times uh, a three meter length minus uh, the natural length of two uh, and that will equal forces to the right which are the frictional forces okay so if this is experiencing mg downwards then it's got a reaction force so it's 5g down reaction force of 5g up and if the coefficient of friction is one times that reaction force that's 5g okay so that's going to be four 49 newtons, 5 times 9.8 is 49 newtons. Um, so 100, uh, sorry, at the equilibrium point, the distance is not three, it's going to be uh, X. Okay, because that's what we're interested in. Okay, so X minus two is 49. So uh, from there we get 140X equal uh, minus 280 equals 49, moving that over, 140x is 329, and then x is 329 over 140, 329 divided by 140 is uh, 2.35. Okay, so 2.35 meters along is where our equilibrium point is, somewhere here. Okay, which means our particle will move with simple harmonic motion around that point. When it gets to beyond that, okay, this 4.9 or 49 newtons, once it gets beyond 3.5 newtons, is going to be the bigger force. So you're now slowing down until you get to here where the string goes slack. Sorry, until you get to a point two meters in where the string goes slack. Okay, so when it reaches two meters, the string goes slack, it stops moving with simple harmonic motion. So we're only interested in um, how long in the section where it's moving with simple harmonic motion, which is between uh, three meters away and two meters away. Uh, and its equilibrium point is 2.35 meters away. So that means you could sit it here at 2.35 meters away and it wouldn't move, that the tension in the string would be counteracted by that 5G backwards. But if it's already moving, of course, you're gonna get that simple harmonic motion but only as far as here, okay? After that, it stops moving with simple harmonic motion. Uh, so the question says, by considering the force acting on P, when it is a distance 2.35 equilibrium plus X from Q, prove that it moves in simple harmonic motion as long as the string remains taut. So that is our net force is going to be our forces to the right minus forces to the left. Forces to the right here are 5G. 49 newtons minus our force to the left is going to be um, now if we are a distance 2.35 plus x okay so we're beyond our equilibrium point um, we're not quite at three well then the length of the string is that okay so that's going to be 140 times the length of the string 2.35 plus x minus its natural length two Okay, and what we get out of that is 49 newtons minus uh, 140 times 2.35, sorry, 0 0.35. 140 times 0 0.35 comes out as 49 newtons minus 140x. So the force, the mass times the acceleration, remember our mass is 5a is equal to our force of minus 140x. Our acceleration is minus 140 divided by uh, 5 which leaves us with 28 minus 28 X is our acceleration okay so that's simple harmonic motion 
because we have an acceleration that's directly proportional to our distance and in the opposite direction. Omega squared is going to be the square, uh, sorry, is going to be 28. And omega is the square root of 28 for this problem. Okay, so uh, show that simple harmonic motion, done. State the position of the center O of simple harmonic motion. Well, that's 2.35 meters from Q is our equilibrium point. Uh, write down the amplitude. So how far beyond our equilibrium point have we started? Okay, well, that's just amplitude is going to be the 3 meters we started minus the 2.35 is our equilibrium point. So that's 0 0.65 meters. So, carry on. Show that the period of the motion is pi over root 7 uh, seconds. Well, our period is always 2 pi over omega, which is 2 pi over root 28. Root 28 is root 4 by root 7, or 2 root 7. Okay, so that becomes 2 pi over 2 root 7, which is pi over root 7 seconds. Uh, there's our period of motion. And part 5, uh, calculate the time taken by the particle to travel from A to a point 2 meters from Q. So again, we need to make our decision. Are we going to use A sine omega t for these time problems, or are we going to use A cos omega t for these time problems? Um, and because we're starting from an extreme point, Rather than from the center, it's going to be a cos omega t. So we will say uh, when we are, excuse me, the time taken until it's traveled from the to a point two meters from Q. Or to a point two meters from Q is uh, 0.35 beyond equilibrium. Okay, so two meters. From Q, there's our equilibrium. We've gone past that by 35 centimeters, by 0.35. So X at that point is minus 0 0.35. Uh, our amplitude, as it has been throughout the problem, is 0 0.65. And omega is uh, root 28. Okay, so we can fill this in by saying minus 0 0.35 equals 0 0.65 cos um, omega t, cos root 28t. Okay, so we want to solve that. Well, we're going to say uh, minus 0 0.35 over 0 0.65 is cos root 28t. Um, now, if you go and say root 28t is the inverse cos of 0 0.35 over 0 0.65 what you get there is a negative answer uh, the inverse cos of 0.3 sorry minus 0 0.35 uh, divided by 0 0.65 you get a negative oh excuse me okay the calculator is going to give me a positive answer so let's stick with that that's 2.1394 and our time when it happens is 2.1394 divided by root 28. So divide that by root 28. Um, and we are going to get ourselves at 0 0.404 seconds is how long it takes for this particle to travel to a point two. At which point the string would go slack and the particle will keep moving, but not with simple harmonic motion. It'll just be slowing down under friction. So that's just a normal UVAST problem. Okay, so we'll leave it there. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.